Hi and welcome back to Kitty Place in Hurry the Earth, the quest for the orb. Last time we played, we were here in this rather serene place, which is really calming with the music and also the voice of our new dog friend, Tycho Northpaw. Tycho is an astronomist and a map maker, and he has met a very sad fate. He his, his um, light catcher fell down off the table and broke. And sadly, the light catcher is human technology. And since the humans are gone, he doesn't know how to get a new one or how to get it repaired. What a sad thing to happen, to be honest. It's like you found an ancient thing, an ancient technology or an ancient artifact and it just breaks and yet before you figure out what it is and how it, how it really works how to create a new one it is pretty sad that said as i promised last time i looked up how to get the plaster and i'm going to say the same thing that i said in the german let's play in the first season when I played Lands of Lore, Throne of Chaos. I am dumb. I am very dumb. Or maybe I'm just an idiot, I don't know. Because I was walking past the door multiple times. See? I only check for how to get the plaster. I didn't want to spoil myself too much for the things that I didn't remember, so I can also have a little bit of exploration going on, you know? So, what I found out is that when you have the actual manual, and not the manual of the Windows version, but the manual of the DOS version, which I actually do have sitting on the CD of the DOS version under my bed with the DOS PC. So I do have a DOS PC, but I don't have any means of recording anything from there. I don't have a VGA recording system. And these are very expensive, so I'm playing the Windows version you can get from GOG. And the original handbook, the original manual, has apparently has maps inside. So, like, like sketched maps. And there's a map of the city, and the store that I was looking for is actually right next to the glassmaker. Like, not next door, but, you know, in the same area. So basically, when I go here, so I was always playing with the, like, the, the I bought the game within, like, a, a magazine, which always was a game on CD, plus the walkthrough, plus some text about the game, hints and stuff like that. And I was, as a kid, I always played games like this, like a movie. Like you're watching it now. So I was playing with the walkthrough and I was just indulging in the story. I'm, I'm still a story player. I play games for their stories. So this is, this is the glassmaker. And the map says somewhere around here, maybe this building here is the convenience store. And there we are, the convenience store or hardware store where we can buy is that plaster you carry? Plaster. No, sir. Too heavy. Wouldn't want to hurt my back. <laughs> Get it? You asked if I carry bags of plaster. I said they were too heavy. <laughs> it's a joke. Uh, yes. Quite humorous indeed. Let me rephrase my question. Can we get plaster here? Try the pub. You can always get plaster there. <laughs> Get it? It's a joke. You said you were looking to get... I know what I said. Okay, okay. I just love a good joke, you know. Can't pass up an opportunity to make a funny. Sure, I've got plaster. Got some great plaster. Fast drying, super hard, best on the market. Only cost you 15 credits a bag. Well, that's all the money we got, but we need the plaster. That plaster is 15 credits. No more, no less. Okay, let's give the coins to the merchant. Credits, eh? Just enough for the bag of plaster. How does that sound? Uh, 
let's try to haggle. First, ask why is it so expensive? Fifteen credits. Why so expensive? Hey, this stuff isn't cheap, you know. My good ferret, you and I both know that there is a significant profit margin in these building materials. Could you not make an exception and lower the price of one bag? How much? To perhaps seven credits. <laughs> seven credits? Seven credits? Now that is the best joke I've heard in weeks. Seven credits? Apparently this ferret is not in a bargaining mood. Okay, let's just give him the money. One bag of plaster coming right up. And there we have it. So yeah, if you look thoroughly, I, I, I think I just missed that door. Well, there you go. Now we have the plaster, now we can get the print and give it to... Uh, let me remember the name. Not Sith, that's uh, some completely different franchise. Otis? No, that was for Monkey Island. Damn it. What was his name? The Red Fellow. See? I miss the door. I forget the names. And I'm still on the first day of recording, so... Even the first episode is just, like, two hours ago. I remember that Scory is the name of the rat that beat us in the game. Don't forget that name, right? So let's head over. I'm not going to mix the plaster with the water because it might dry too quickly. You know, I don't want... I don't want it to dry and figure out how to get 15 more bucks just to buy another bag of plaster. That would be a shame. Now use plaster with Looks water. Looks good. Now to use it before it dries. Perfect. I hope we find the foot that matches this. Now I'm thinking of that not give pickup. Now I'm thinking of the, um, is it the Cinderella story? This plaster is heavy. I'm asking because in German it has a different name. You know, with a, with a shoe, the glass shoe that fits. Only the correct woman. I think Homer Simpson syndrome is setting in. To be honest, it's 10 p.m. and I'm rather tired because it's a Friday evening, so I ha had to work today. And now 10 p.m. is my normal time to go to sleep when I have to go to work. So my body is now set to this is bad time. And here I am making excuses. So now we have the paw print. Let's go to the rat. Sid? Was it Sid the rat? Damn it. I think it, it was something with S. Who are you? Who are you? I'm the doorkeeper. Who are you? I may need a disguise. I'm going to try to get quicker through the maze, but I, as you may imagine, I don't remember how to get to, through the maze correctly. So I'm basically guessing the way, way right now. 
You may try shouting at the screen, no, not that way, go left, go left, or go right. It may work, but it may also not. I think this is an area we haven't seen before. Okay, so we're halfway through. Or, I think it's even three quarters. Okay. I know I'm not talking so much right now, which might not be that interesting, because it's just... On the other hand, the music is really nice, so it's... I think it is okay to just enjoy the music for a while. I mean, you could start petitioning for me to skip parts like this, to cut them out. Of course, this might only affect season 3 or something, because I'm recording way in advance. So I had parts um, back in Lands of Lore, I had parts where I, um, where I, s sorry, I'm also concentrating on the game right now, trying to figure out where to, where I need to go. Um, I had parts where I actually um, increased the speed of the game because I didn't want to cut out anything. I didn't want to, you know, hide something that I did. And then... I had to run across what felt like the whole map just to sell stuff from my inventory to get the inventory free again and then I decided no I'm just going to you know I'm just going to say hey I'm doing this now and I'm going to cut it out completely there it is cyst so Sid wasn't that far away cyst anything more I can do for you I think I need to give the pot to him. Good cyst, here is the plaster cast of the footprint. Do you recognize it? Indeed I do. Ooh. This print is well known to me. This, together with the sour berries, tells me all I need to know. The footprint and the sour berries, to whom do they belong? The footprint belongs to a raccoon. Ah. A raccoon. A rather large male in his mid-thirties, I'd say. But raccoons are pretty rare in these parts. This raccoon isn't from these parts. The sour berries only grow at very high altitudes. Most of the raccoons have settled on an island far to the north of the known lands. Whatever raccoon made this footprint obviously brought the berries with him from the north. It is there your answers lie. Then I had best be on my way. Time grows short. Fare you well, friend Cyst. Let us both hope my mission is successful. Wait! Take this wolf's head ring with you. It may prove valuable. If nothing else, it may provide you with some capital in an emergency. But this was to be your payment. The information you brought me is payment enough. Now go, and may Hron go with you. Whoever Hron is. Could be some kind of god or something. Okay, so I should have just... went over here. Well, that's okay. I mean, we're we're suffering together, right? You didn't skip ahead, right? Right? Okay, now let's let's see. So now we have a reason to go into the. I always want to say into the badlands, to go into the wildlands, 
and thus we have a reason to ask for the map from Tycho. I'm the doorkeeper. Who are you? Who are you? I'm the doorkeeper. <laughs> That's, it's always amazing. Who are you? Uh, it's it's one of the parts that I remember most strong from this, the strongest from from this game, uh, even in German. <laughs> Wer bist du? Wer bist du? So yeah, they did translate this pun, and it works even in German. I was wondering how the how the original or how, how the English version was. I think the original is English. Hello, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you still here? Have you something else to ask me? Since we cannot see very far into the wildlands, perhaps you would lend us the use of your map. I'm afraid that is impossible. It is the only map I have of the Wildlands. And with my light catcher now broken, I would never be able to make another one. It must not leave these walls. But without it, we will lose much time trying to find our way into the Wildlands. I sympathize with you, but there is nothing that would persuade me to give up my possession of the map. Would you trade the map for a repaired light catcher? What are you saying? I'm saying that I know who can repair the piece from your light catcher. If you allow us to use your map to go into the wildlands, I will see to it that your light catcher is repaired. Do we have a bargain? I will make you a counter proposal. While you are getting the piece from my light catcher repaired, I will make you a duplicate of my map. It will be ready by the time you return. Fair enough? Fair enough. If you wrap the piece of the light catcher so it may be transported safely, we shall be on our way. My friends, the broken piece is now in your care. We'll be on our way. Good luck to you. So there we have the broken piece. What odd pieces of glass. And there we can see that it's the lens that got broken. So now let's head back to the ferret's village. I'm pretty sure that the glass maker will be able to help us. This should be easier because <laughs> I've been to the glass maker multiple times now. And I can't get enough of this song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good day. May I show you some of my glass items? No, thank you. By the way, this glass emblem up here. Pretty, very pretty. This is the logo of the Dreamers Guild, the logo that was displayed at the beginning of the game instead of the Wormkeep Entertainment logo in the DOS version that I have. So I guess this is the original maker of the game. It's neat that they didn't change that uh, when they created this Windows version. I mean, yeah, it's okay that they changed the, the original, the, the logo at the beginning. But it's neat that they left this in as a tribute. Actually, I have a glass item to show you. We need to have this repaired or have a duplicate made. Can you do it? These are most unusual. From whence did these pieces come? An instrument called a light catcher. This is new to me. 
To construct a piece to these exact specifications is beyond my skill. Then we are doomed. Not so fast. Let us go to the lodge. We can ask Sokka. If she cannot help us, perhaps she will consult the one who knows all. Who is the one who knows all? The one who knows all speaks to us. He tells us how to build things and answers our questions. However, we do not understand most of what he says. Where can we find him? The one who knows all is not in the body. He speaks to us through unit. Please go on. Perhaps I've said too much already. I would prefer to let Saka explain. What is this lodge you speak of? The lodge is our gathering place. It is the place where we share information and ideas of how to build things better. How many are there of you at this lodge? Sometimes 20, sometimes 30. 23. We gather there every day before sundown. In fact, the meeting should be starting very shortly. Who is Saka? Saka is our chief builder and the head of our association. And she will know how to repair the glass? If she doesn't, she will have the best chance of finding someone, or something who can. Then we shall most gratefully meet with you and the others at the lounge. So, the lodge is basically at the very tip of this building complex. And I think it should be this door. And since there is a large head and a small head on the same hammer, you won't have to carry as many tools. Friends, may I have your attention? These travelers have come to us with a most perplexing problem. Indeed. How may we be of help? Well, you know, we have this thing. No gift will be necessary. I am in possession of a most unusual piece of glass. However, it is broken, and I must either get it repaired or have a new one made. This piece of glass is warped. I cannot clearly see through it. It is part of a wondrous apparatus called a light catcher. Telescope. It makes objects that are far away look very near. That is quite amazing. Perhaps you could consult the one who knows all. What do you know of the one who knows all? Only that you turn to him when all else fails. Please, can you not consult him now? It is a matter of life and death. Very well. We will show the glass to Unit and... Wait! Only a member of our guild may speak with the one. Then he shall be an honorary member. The rest of us have to pass a test to prove our worthiness. Tradition must be upheld. Yes, I say we give him our test. That's right. Even a mere honorary member must pass our test. Test! 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 test. Yeah, that's, that's the motto these days also, right? Test, test, test. I mean, I'm recording this at the beginning of May 2019, so test, test, test. Yes, bring on then your test. bring on your test. Very well, bring on the tanagram. The tanagram, indeed. So I say I'm going to complete the tanagram puzzle, and then I'll call it an episode. The neat thing about this puzzle is that the um, the members of the Tinker Lodge will give me hints at some point. They will tell me which parts are in the wrong position. Hey Fox, would you like a hint? See? Oh, neat. Now I can learn the English names of, of, of these items. going to try solving it myself first. Is there something which will fit in there? It doesn't look so. 
things away. This doesn't work either because it's too low. Just checking if there is something I could put in, I could put here when I have this. Uh -huh. This looks, this looks promising. And could yet still be utterly wrong. Because I need something which has this shape. And I don't think I have something like that. end would be because I need yeah the, it would be this this part yeah this must be right because I need to fill this straight edge here okay now I need also need to fill this straight edge so I need parts with hair which have a straight edge on the right end right hand side and there I only have two and they, those don't fit together this is this is what's most confusing me Oh no, I also have that one. Right. So it must be that these f belong together. Okay, nextly. Something with a straight edge down and this slope here. This looks like it belongs here. Does seem very problematic. I think the wood plane is in the wrong place. Okay, that's in the wrong place. Thank you very much. Uh, no, the pieces are not turned, by the way. It's just place them and that's it. Would you like some help? That actually surprised me a bit. I think the ruler is in the wrong place. Let me let me try with this. Let me try starting with this edge, right? that this could also be here but there is nothing that is that, oh yes it is <coughs> will you go no that's guys this is supposed to be a test <laughs> <sighs> calm down it is just a test i think the mallet is in the wrong place oh okay how about the X then? That also looks neat. I'm just trying around here. Do I have something that goes in here? What are you? It's kind of weird because she was the one uh, suggesting skipping the test and now she complains that they're helping me. She clearly doesn't know what she wants. I don't know what to put here then. Oh, maybe it's... No, that's, that's the wrong shape. No, let me... Let me I think the hatchet is in the wrong place. Okay.
I am just playing and fi fiddling around. So that's that's how I solve these. I would have done this differently, you know. I think the saw is in the wrong place. See anything out of place? in the wrong place. I don't see anything out of place. have done this differently, you know. Hey, you're not supposed to help the applicants. Let's check this. I don't see anything out of place. We're getting there. See, we're getting there. Good things take their time. And patience is a virtue. Ah, that was the part. That was the part. And now... I do remember that the ruler and the brush fit together. Riff, I hereby grant you honorary membership in the ancient and honorable order of tinkerers, fabricators, and... All right, let's get on with it. Here is Unit. Have you ever seen such a marvel? I cannot be sure, but I believe that is an orb. So... There's more than one orb, we already know that. They are all connected to one kind of 
all-knowing consciousness thing? Knowing the end of the game, I expect now a specific voice. Let's see. Could it be the Orb of Storms? Not if they've had it as long as they say they have. It must be another orb. We sometimes refer to it as the Orb of Hands. This little ball knows everything? If we ask the question properly, he will give us answers. Oh, one who knows all, we need your help. These travelers have come many miles to ask you a question. Speak to them and give them the benefit of your vast knowledge. Unit functioning. Input query. What? That means you may ask your question. Yeah, and the question is something for the next episode. So, you will now see the roll of the dice. And I'm still getting used to doing the moderation while they're like in line with the recording and not like preparing them so you will see the roll of the dice and in some days one between 20 i don't know yet how many it will be you will finally get to see the question that we ask and how unit will answer and as you may have noticed it sounds awful lot like a computer i was actually expecting some kind of robotic voice Anyhow, I'm saying bye-bye.